make it jump to the rhythm till the morning comes. We're gonna move our body, gotta get it right. We're gonna party on a sunny day life. I said, ding, ding, dong, sing along my song. We'll make it jump to the rhythm till the morning comes. And if the rising sun will make you feel alright, we're gonna dance right until the moonlight. Here we go. Ding, ding, dong, sing along my song. We'll make it jump to the rhythm till the morning comes. We're gonna move our body, gotta get it right. We're gonna party on a sunny day life. See where this is going? Okay. The next step is you're going to bring your feet close together. Okay? So I'm keeping them in this direction, and I just bring them close together. So you have this sort of awkward look, but it starts to look like the solo jazz step that we know as a shorty George very quickly. So you do the same thing that you were doing with your knees far apart, or with your feet far apart. One knee goes in, the other knee goes out, and then they switch. The other knee goes in and the other knee goes out. Back and forth. Dun, 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 dun. I do not care what you do with your arms, but I suggest you do something that does not feel awkward. For instance, this would be awkward. Doing something that feels kind of counterbalancing the knee motion, that is good. We've got this far. Right now our arms are not awkward. That's where we're going with the arms, not awkward. And we need to step forward. And the foot that we're going to step forward on is the knee that is going out. So when I move back the other way, my left knee, your right knee if you're mirroring me, is going to be moving out and it's going to step forward, okay? And then the opposite. So if you ever get confused about what foot steps forward, it's the one where the knee is going out. And I want you to just keep Keep them flat on the floor, moving one in front of the other. Right next to each other, not pointed out, not pointed in, just one next to the other. Okay, so all together, what we have so far looks like this. Step forward on the knee that goes out, step forward on the knee that goes out, 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 out. Oh, arms are doing something not awkward. So that's only part of it. There's another little part that goes jim ka do, kick ball change. And that basically means kick, step, step. And they're quick steps, so generally on the first step, you only get the ball of your foot down on the floor. 
So kick ball change is basically a kick ball change. In Shorty George speak, that would be a kick out to the side, and you just fall to this direction. So you're always going to start for you stepping forward on your left, right? So this move always goes forward on the left. Coincidentally, then it goes out when you step on that foot. So we have, oh wait, cats. We have Junka do kick, ball change, or kick and fall to the left. Kick and go to the left. So kick and fall to the left, and then begin stepping. There's so many different things you could do with your arms. Right now, I just want them to not look awkward. So it might be worth taking a moment to like look in the mirror and see if you're doing anything wonky with your shoulders or your hands. So a lot of different things you could do with your arms. I like to have mine out to the side, sort of waggling to the side. Which direction do they go? I don't know. Try it out. If one feels awkward, try it the other way. Another thing you can do with your arms, keep them close and kind of go up and down with your shoulders. Which way? I don't know. Try it out. If it feels awkward, try the other way. So with the arms close and the shoulders going up and down, it looks like this. Okay, so there it is. The short